Ternary science, you might argue, is actually an amalgamation of all of the other sciences in, in real time. Um, but nevertheless, that would make fields far too difficult to study, and also the emphasis would be different. So the pure quaternary scientist is looking at the record of climate and other land surface and environmental changes over that period of time, whereas the environmental scientist is perhaps looking at the applications of processes that may have no particular root in quaternary science to human societies, socioeconomic activities and so on, but they clearly overlap. As we crossed that threshold 2.6 million years ago into what we now call the quaternary, uh, our own ancestors, uh, the key group of Australopithecine ancestors, uh, really were, might be too strong a word to say wiped out, but they became extinct around about the beginning of the Quaternary. And we see the rise of the hominins that eventually materialize in ourselves in this period of time. And I don't think the relationship between the climate changes of the Quaternary and, hu and human evolution uh, are just entirely coincidental. I think we look, can look at a lot of mutual driving factors. We're now in a period that has no precedent in Earth history, and that is one in which uh, one species is capable of making such dramatic changes to global environments and, and global climate. And incidentally, we tend to also feel that this is all about climate change. It's an awful lot more than that. There's landscape change that can drive climate change and, and so on. So there's the link, I think, both in human evolutionary terms and in the extent to which humans are now capable of disturbing natural patterns of climate uh, in which we see quaternary science and the future of, of climate and environmental change coming together. When I've given public lectures, those who are still awake at the end of them come up to me and say, you, you must feel awfully pessimistic about the, the Earth's future. And my answer to that is no, absolutely not. Um, I'd love to be here for a couple of centuries of it to see what happens. But um, this is an opportunity being given to the most intelligent and most adaptive species on the planet to be able to respond to some of the most rapid changes in its, in the, in its environment. And there are, sure, huge challenges but there are also enormous opportunities. I think that whole lot that wraps up together is just being a fascinating future.